Welcome, I'm Sally and you're watching Fairy Figure. Today I'm showing you how to make this soft and perfectly fitting wig cap. Instead of this rock hard wig cap that I made some years ago. I would recommend to use the actual head from the doll you want to make the wig for. Because I saw on my sarang head that the wig cap from Chloe is a little bit loose. Now let's get started. First remove the hands and the feet of the doll. And now the materials. You need a thin foil I used the trash bag, a soft brush for putting on the glue, a container to put the glue in, a rubber band or hairband, white stretchy jersey fabric, a white glue that dries clear and of course the head. First we put on the foil to protect the head from any damage. Put the hairband around it and pull the foil down to get out creases. It doesn't need to be perfect straight. Let's move on to the next step. Stretch the jersey to make the fabric thinner. Place it down with a rubber band. Also here, pull it down to get the creases out. Now we start with the gluing part. I found out that it's the best to start on the bottom and move around the head up to the center of the head. Try to brush the glue on very thin. And don't forget the ears! Don't rush gluing the fabric. Take your time and look out for some spots that you missed. Amazing! The first layer is done. Now we will let it dry and repeat this step again. Don't forget to wash out your brush with clean water after each layer. Second layer. I found out that the best is three layers. So repeat it again and then let it dry overnight. Then the wig cap is for sure dry and we can start cutting it out. Let's mark around the head where we want to cut the wig out. If your creases in the back are really strong, mark a little bit more in the front so you can pull the wig cap a little bit lower in the back. Remove both of the bands and the foil before you start cutting. Look, nothing happened to your doll. Nice! Let's cut. First I remove the excess fabric before I start to cut it out more accurate. Careful to not cut into your fingers. And voila! We made a wig cap by our own. Perfectly. I can't wait to make a full wig out of this cap. I made the cap on the Chloe sleeping head. Of course, it also fits her on the normal head. 
Thank you for watching. If you'd like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. You can also follow me on Instagram or the link down below. You can share the video with your dolly friends. Stay safe and see you the next time. Bye! You and I.